Traditionally, bridge creator can read blend XML files, the information, in order then to have the extrusions. In this case, there are other ways, CSV files, text files, and spreadsheets. The challenge here is that you need to input the X, Y, Z values as well the chainage. And that is not an easy task. So what I'm proposing today, in case you have 3D splines or 3D polylines in DWG, DGN format, CAD format, is to get Rhino and Grasshopper, a plugin for Rhino. Here, let me just draft a spline very quickly. And the intention is to bring that spline into Tecla structures as a Tecla construction line. I have now Grasshopper open and I'll bring a geometry box, could be a curved uh, component. In this case, it's geometry and set one geometry or set one curve in case you use the curved component. Then go to Tecla tab and bring the construction lines component. Very quick here, uh, just create two sliders, one for the class of the line and another one for the type of the line. Values from one to five. This is not necessary, it's just to, to be more complete. And now from the moment you connect the information inside the geometry, you have the 3D polyline inside Tecla structures. From here, you can use Bridge Creator to transform that Tecla construction line into a feature line. And as you can see, we can change the class and the line type. This is a great way to have complex 3D lines inside Tecla structures. So now repeat the process of converting that construction line into a bridge creator feature line, the line that's going to be used for the extrusions. Now, if we click manage, we can have the display of the changes or stations along the line just created in Rhino. You can import DWG, DGN into Rhino and very quick have all these lines inside Tecla structures.